Right by Herping Basketball Gymnasium, and it's finals day. We witnessed one final already in the mixed doubles, and that was Hong Kong China's to take. Li and Ng winning it in straight games over Optong and Korepap of Thailand. Just took 30 minutes. It was a commanding performance for the Hong Kong China pair. Up next, it's the men's singles fan favorite, number one seed, Cho Tian Chen. He's up against the number four seed. The up-and-coming Japanese star Kodai and Naraoka. That's what's coming up on court one very, very shortly. Let's look at how things have panned out in the men's singles draw from the quarterfinal stage up to the final. And Cho Chin Chen's road to the final has been fairly smooth in the quarterfinals. His opponent Chen Chiting retired in the second game and then against Sung Ju Wen it was a fairly comfortable 21-12 21-12 victory for Naraoka it's been a fairly smooth performance as well straight games victory in the semi-final against Chinese Taipei looking at the race to Guangzhou standings and uh, Zhou Tianchen now number nine in the standings a win here would certainly put him up in the reckoning for a place in Guangzhou. And uh, Kodai Naraoka, who's had a tremendous season, I'm sure, is not far behind, having made his third tour final this year. So a lot at stake for both these men. But one would think for Cho Tian Chen, playing on his home court in front of his beloved fans it is a huge moment in itself and of course more importantly he's a three-time champion here looking for a fourth title a record-making fourth title There he is, the top seed of the tournament, walking on to the court and looking to make a bit of history here in Taipei City today. Won three titles, as I mentioned, looking for number four, which would make him the most successful man at the Taipei Open. A title today. We're taking to number four, clear Japan. out of both men's singles and men's doubles. Kodai Naraoka, number four seed, 21-year-old, has impressed this season. Got to the final of the Korea Masters, got to the final of the Singapore Open, now here in the final of the Taipei Open as well. It's yet to win a title, it's finished runners-up previous times and will be looking to change his fortunes here though he has his work cut out against the crowd favorite this is their first meeting and what a meeting it is in the final Naraoka will be playing the crowd undoubtedly but uh, I'm sure his hunger to turn those runner-up finishes into victory is a bigger one for Cho Chin Chen. He's had remarkable consistency on the tour, having won a title every year in the last 10 years, except for 2015, where he came close twice but finished runners up. But every year for the last 10 years, he's won an HSBC BWF World Tour title. Cho Tinchen. And this year, it's still without a title. 32 years of age, plenty of experience under his belt. Current ranking as well, number four, born and bred in Taipei. He's reached as high as number two in the world, but I think nothing's more important than making sure he has a title under his belt this year as well. He got to the finals of the Indonesian Masters and uh, finished runners-up there. Here, 
He's in the finals once more, and let's look at how he's gotten there. Two three-game wins in the first two rounds, and then it got slightly easy in the quarterfinal when his opponent retired, as I mentioned. His best performance came in the semi-final, that straight games win over Sung. So maybe he's saving his best for the last. For Kodai Naroka, he's just 21 years of age, ranked 38 in the world from Aomori, Japan. And uh, he is also looking to break the duck here in 2022. Three finals, yet to win a title. This, of course, being the third, not played it yet. And his road to the final has been a mixed bag. Two tough matches in the second round and then against the seven seed Kosit Fed Pradab in the quarterfinals. And then yesterday in the semifinals, he was pushed all the way in that second game, especially. It came through for the straight game win, which he'll be grateful for because he's probably got to save up and conserve his energy for the final. Philip Ayung Chi is the umpire from USA. And he's joined by Helen Purnama Sari of Indonesia in the service judge's chair. Wow. This is a mouth-watering clash. Number one seed, number four seed, both looking for the first title of 2022. Youth versus experience. If I had to put a tag on it. But... Certainly, what is most important is promises to be a thriller. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kodai Naroka, Japan. On my left, Chao Tian Chen, Chinese Taipei. Uh, there's no surprise that the crowd are behind him. It's a packed house, and they want to see the home favorite succeed. Naroka will serve to get this final underway. That's a good start. Backhand doing the damage there. He's so quick. Oh, what a rally! And what a way to finish it. Just look at the confidence of that shot. That's gone long. This is exactly the start he would have wanted for an arrow, okay? making all the right moves at the moment, isn't he? The Japanese youngster. Well, he's finally on the board. Cho Chin Chen. The flick of the wrist at the backhand and then the lift. Forcing the error of Naroka. That is trademark Cho. Cross court smash. Put his might into it. Ha <laughs> 
Beautiful. Such a delightful drop shot from Naroka. Just look at that. There's plenty of deception in there as well. Caught Cho off guard completely. Rally. Great stuff from both players. I mean, the court coverage was immense. Just moving back and forth, trying to keep the shuttle in play, and eventually it's Cho who goes for the big shot. Victoria Cow, his physio who sits with him, also his mentor, always encouraging. Oh. Lovely. Just so effortless with that Six, three. cross net shot. Just glides the shuttle across. Oh, a bit lucky, but he'll take it, as will she. Four, six. He knew he was going for the tight net roll, making it difficult to play. And this is a dominating point from Cho Tien Chen as he tries to establish control. Five, six. Comes charging forward and then cracks back a little bit to set up the smash. Let's close the gap to just one point. Surprised by that. <laughs> it was called in. Cho Tinchin is not happy about that. He thought it was out. It's called in. Forget about it fairly quickly. Seven, I know it can be frustrating, but at the end of the day, the linesman has the final say. That's a wild forehand. Eight, Just five. probably a little bit in his head at the moment, Cho Tin Chen, with that previous call. Gonna just bounce back here. Gathered some momentum. Just gotta go back to his strategy. It's really close net exchange between the two. Six, eight. Just made it difficult for Naroka to play when it was so close to the net. Oh. Well, that time. So that's all. And Naroka using... Nine, six. His 
forehand to generate the power and force Cho to play on the backhand. That was a loose lift from Naraoka, and Cho absolutely pounced on that one. He had his back to the court, just trying to keep the shuttle in play, and Cho made the most of it. Two-point game. Just think that he needs to find that focus back. It seems he's a little bit rattled. That's a great rally. That's out. It's a tremendous effort from Naraoka. Having to cover the court a fair bit in that rally. Did well to keep the pressure on Cho. And so he takes the lead, 11-7 in this first game, nine minutes played. Game one will Play. resume with Naraoka serving. Eleven seven up. isn't it? Completely missed that. Oh, he slipped. Oh, no. After just the way he landed. From that smash, seemed a little awkward. Right there, on the back foot. Thank you. I tell you what, this is a tense start for both men. Long rallies, using their power and technique to try and outdo one another. Well, exactly what eight. you expect from a men's singles final. Saves. Wow.
That went against him. Oh. That was close, right on the outside line. Just can't believe it. But what a point for Cho Tin Chen to win. Good low First serve, order, but 13, nine. right reply from Naroka there. He's really taking control 14, of the points nine. now. Just has a reply for everything that Cho is throwing his way, Naroka. On the line again. Accurate placement from Cho Tin Chan there. Do not shout until the line judge makes a decision. Service over, 10, 14. Brilliant. Service over, just 15, 10. Going for the kill shot, just using that opportunity with the slightly looser lift. He's so quick as well, Naroka. 16, 10. Very strong at the net and uses his reflexes to put the pressure back on his opponent quickly. Six point lead. Oh, brilliant. That was sublime. 17, 10. Just look how late he left it to make that net shot. It's really, really beautifully struck. Just everything is going narrow because way at the moment is ready for everything that Cho has coming at him. And then he turns things around in his favor so easily. Three points away from clinching this game is Kodai Naroka. Could save, but going out. Third over. Show. 11, Just 18. Using that smash more and more to try and close out the points because every time it goes into a longer rally, you feel that Naroka has the edge. Oh, brilliant. Great kill shot. How about that for a response? 12, Look at that with the backhand. So quick. Oh, 
she's certainly happy with that one. Six points. Still a comfortable lead for Naroka. Just been immense at the net. The angles of his shots have been tremendous. And he makes it look so easy as well, so quick. Knows exactly where to put it. Two points away from sealing this game. This has been Naroka dominating points one after the other. It's setting up eight game points now. It's one saved. Just got to keep the pressure on Cho Chen. 14, 20. I'm sure Naroka is a little bit nervous about closing the game out. Another great rally. Oh my gosh. He's still at it. from Naroka. That's unbelievable. Oh, Cho Chen getting a lot of support. 
hoping that he turns this match around, but it's been Kodai Naraoka who's made a fantastic start here, 21-14 in that first game. And Naraoka in his previous Four. finals has lost Three. both those finals at the Singapore Open at Korea Masters in straight games. So he's not won a game in a final before. This is the first time. And you wonder whether that's the change or the turnaround he's been looking for. He's got to pump himself up here, Cho Chin Chen. He knows it's a must-win game. And he knows he needs to get on top of his opponent early. He is a very, very fit player who takes pride in keeping himself fit and has the ability to play the long matches as a result. He's kind of known for his three gamers, Cho Chin Chen. He'll be hoping to deliver one of those here. Two, but oh. he's got to do better than that. He's had a couple of unforced errors there. <laughs> yeah, powerful smash from the back court from Cho. Look how high he jumps to make Three, that smash. Two. Get the angle as well. He's got to use the energy from the crowd to make his comeback here, Cho Tin Chen. For Naraoka, though, it's just about maintaining his composure, which, you know, for someone his age, he's showed he has plenty of. as well. That was on the line. Service over. Just the deceptive oh, shot oh. that he played. A couple of points before, a couple of exchanges before. Mixes it up so well, has such a variety in his game, Naroka. Flat forehand to get the error oh. of Cho's racket. Oh, he 
looks back at his coach with disappointment there. He knew he just had to maybe lift it a little bit higher there. Beautiful. And cross court. Silence the crowd with that smash. Flat exchanges and Cho came out on top of that one using his backhand. Drive the shuttle at Naroka. He has been unforgiving at the net, Naroka. Just right there to make the simplest of shots, but making it really hard to play. The aggression coming out on show. Cho Jin Chen knows. Four, seven, all. He's got to keep the points coming his way. And that is him at his aggressive best. net point. Eight, Terrific seven. from Cho Jin Chen there. Gets it at such a tight angle. This is good pressure. Cho Chin Chin has ensured that it was Naroka who made the mistake in that one. Rally. <laughs> Even though he got it across, that went out, and what movement from Ten, Cho Chin Chan here? He was right there, ready and waiting. Right. from Cho Jin Chen in the second game, reviving his fortunes as he takes the lead at the break. 11-7. 11 minutes played in the second game.
The crowd certainly enjoying themselves here at the Taipei Herping Basketball Gymnasium. It's been an entertaining encounter so far in the men's singles final. Cho Chin Chin turning his fortunes around in the second game. 11-7 up. That was... And a mighty smash from uh, Naroka between the legs of Cho, making sure that there was no way he could hit that back. Feel the tension. Nice. Doing well to control the point from the back of the court as well, Naroka. Cho has time and again pushed him towards the back and the Japanese showing that he can be just as effective. That's a great backhand, just flicking the shuttle. That takes 12, nine. tremendous skill. You didn't see that coming. First Completely game, caught off nine. guard, Naroka, with that smash as it came towards his body. Just in. Fourteen nine. And that one just out was the right response. He was looking for the outside line there, but would have put Cho on the stretch. It's good movement. Cho Chin Chin completely controlling that point, moving his opponent around. 16, Constantly on the defense, Naroka there. Open up a seven point lead here. Another save on the first smash is what did the damage, is forced Naraoka to go for a harder angle. It seems that Cho Chin Chen has taken control, full control of this game as the errors are coming off Naraoka's racket thick and fast. Just like that. Ten point lead. Two away from pushing this to a third.
Oh, just out. Service over. Ten, thirteen. He's looking for that space on the far court. Well, he does it. Finds that gap. Opens up the court to his advantage. Naroka completely wrong-footed, and it's 10 game points. Chen Chen. That is a dominating performance in the second game. He's completely turned things around here. The number one seed. Having been on the back foot for most of that first game and in fact even the start of the second Wow, off to a third we go. It certainly has lived up to its billing, this men's Final singles game. encounter Low. between the number one and the number four seed. Cho Chin Chen will serve to get the decider going. the racket of Naroka with that shot. Share a little bit. Having to move quickly around the court after Cho controls the shuttle. Tremendous. That's 
that's a wonderful point for Cho Tien Chen. Just look how late he takes that shot Three, at the net left. and then sets it up for the smash. Wonderfully crafted point by the number one seed. So, this is a good start for the home favourite. What can Naroka do? It's called in. So it's over one, but three. He reacted. Like it was out. No, it's out. Line judge on the other side called it out, so he'll be happy with that. See that Naroka is struggling to find his shots a little bit at the moment. Unlike the first game, where everything he hit was going in. It's good saves. Wow. He waited for that. Service over. It's terrific from Naroka. Played a patient four. game there. Two, four. Thank you. Could I Naroka? had a tremendous start to this match where Cho Tien Chun was kind of left helpless. But since that second game, especially the second half of that second game, you feel like he's stepped off the gas a little bit and he needs to find that form of that first game again. We know that both these players can Three, go the distance four. and are capable of pulling out victories in the hardest of situations. And you feel like this third game is going to be one such situation. <laughs> How effortless was that? He's just so over. nudged the shuttle with his Five, racket three. to go over the net. It's casual with his stroke making. Rally. Wow. A fabulous. What tremendous footwork from Cho Tien Chen throughout that point. Stayed with the shuttle all the way till the end. 
And that is the number one seed at his best. And you have to say that Thank you. Cho Jin Chen is so used to having his big matches against the biggest of players and he'll count on that big match experience Ciao. here to see him through. Six, three. He's been at the biggest of stages for so many times in his career. Tremendous shot. Kodai Naroka delivering a beauty cross net shot Four, under pressure. Six. Wonderful skill. Thank you. Macho Tin Chen, as I was talking about playing on the biggest of stages numerous times is going for his 15th tour title here. The cross-court smash is effective. He uses it as his get out of jail card. Every now and then, using that open court to his advantage. Thank you. Quick towel only. Restored his three point lead. Seven, four. <laughs> Pure power. Eight, Absolutely four. hit that with every muscle in his body. And it's Nine, just that he's using this high pressure situation to his advantage better than his opponent, Cho Tin Chen. Oh, tremendous point again. Just superb court coverage from Cho Tin Chen. How happy is Victoria Cow with that? Four. Stay on court. Look at that footwork. It was that change of pace on the forehand from Naroka. Quick response Five, there. Ten. And that forced Cho to just simply react and not really have 
a strategy in mind. just moved him around so well once more left to right was left helpless in the end so the world number four 11 five up in the third is looking in superior touch at the moment Game three, five. about to restart. Cho Tin Chun, 11 5 up, and that's exactly how the fans want it. So that's exactly how he wants it as well. But this has been a fantastic turnaround for the number one seed. He looked all but out at the end of that first game. He really has turned things around in a fabulous fashion. feel that narrow has lost his touch a little bit lost his nerve it's not moving as swiftly as he did in that first game just gotta find his confidence again Kodai Naroka the net shots that were working so well for him in that first game Just not coming through here. Happy man, Cho Tin Chen. The aggression, the determination on full display. So look at that. Straight at Naroka with the forehand. Big yell to back it up. The air is once more causing Narooka a lot of problems at the moment. 10 point lead for Cho and Naroka is really just struggling to get the shuttle on the other side of the court at the moment. Cho tried to take control and end the point. Found the net instead and Naroka just happy that the point was his. Still nine points ahead. A lot of ground for the 21 year old to make. Yeah. 
well left and Cho Chin Chin is just putting on a masterful performance at the moment undeterred resolute with every shot he's making at the moment super just look at that pushes the shuttle with his wrist there Looking back, Cho Tien Chen. Everything seems to be coming together at the moment for the home favorite. really for a narrow guy he's not being able to make his shots at all and second guessing himself here yeah. you knew he was going for it charging forward goes for the kill shot that sets up 14 match points that's how dominating he's been in this third game. Will he do it on the first time of asking? Yep, it's called out. Cho Tinchin does it. Title number four for CTC. He is the most successful male shuttler at the Taipei Open with victory here. He has broken records with a tremendous performance and is loving it. The fans enjoyed the performance that this man delivered today. He's given them the victory they came to see. And now one of them gets his racket. Delightful from Cho Tien Chen. Oh, scramble for it. Match one by but what a performance for 21, 21, 21, the world number four. 21, Cho Tin Chen has made one fan very, very, very happy. He wins his first title of 2022 and continues his remarkable streak on the world tour 21 14 14 21 sorry 21 10 21 6 in an hour exactly Cho Tien Chen is your men's singles champion here at the Yonex Taipei Open 2022 and he did it in style with a nice serve that forces Naroka to make the error but it's see how much it means to him. The emotions pouring out of the 32 year old. But also a moment here for Kodai Naraoka, who's been such a fantastic performer throughout the season and once more has to settle for runners up. He'll be a happy man, Cho Tin Chen. Taking on the Taipei Open title for a fourth time. Defending it successfully, having been the champion here in 2019. Kodai Naroka still in the hunt for his first tour title, but he'll take so much from this performance today. He started off superbly and will be 
a little bit disappointed the way it ended. But this young Shatla is one to watch. One that's just a couple of games away from bursting onto his first title. But this is a moment for the local fans to savor, to celebrate, as they've just witnessed the top seed make history here in Taipei. Time now for the prize presentation ceremony. And we'll have the players walk on very, very shortly. A 15th title, tour title that is, for Cho. And he did it in tremendous fashion. Here we go. Time for the medal ceremony. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the Unix Taipei Open 2022 from the, the award ceremony from the Unix Taipei Open 2022 men's single will begin now. Let's give a warm welcome to our Yajin Japan champion, Nai Liangang Dongda. The runner of the men's single is Bondai Naraoka from Japan. The champions of men's single final is Zhou Tianchen from Chinese Taipei to the stage. 接着我们恭请颁奖人永元基金会执行长陈志远颁发奖牌 And now we are honored to invite our guests Chen Yong Foundation President Charles C. Y. Chen to the stage to present the medals. Well, third. A runner up medal for Kodai Naroka as he gets it from the Chen Yong Foundation President Charles C. Y. Chen. But is this man who's very, very happy with a full Taipei Open medal. There it is. Winner's check, 37,500. Getting a fist bump from the your next Taiwan president there. We now invite our guest, Jaffin Guru Inoma Green Cake CEO, Mandy Lee, to the stage to present the bouquet from our tournament. Thank you. 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 Players and guests, please get together for a group photo. An opportunity, a photo opportunity for the special guests with the two finalists. Can 
And now a time for the two players to enjoy their moment in the sun. Fantastic performance in the men's singles final here by both these two shuttlers as we get ready for the next match. That's the women's singles final that's coming our way between the number one seed Tai Tsu Ying and the number seven seed Saina Kawakami, both former champions here. Congratulations to Cho Tian Chen, four-time Taipei Open champion. Welcome back to the live coverage of the Yonex Taipei Open 2022 finals. We're into match number three here on court one. We've witnessed the mixed doubles final that was won by Li Yanung of Hong Kong in straight games and 